Hey guys, we are here live from Acer's Global Press... Oh, no we're not. Just kidding. Acer obviously isn't having an in-person press event, but their press event is going on right now, and they were nice enough to send us this, the new Spin 13 Chromebook, and we've had a few days to take a look at it and get our hands on it, and we want to give you our initial impressions. So we're going to take this whole thing as if we're at the event because honestly we miss going to New York and we miss being a part of these things. So Acer again sent this over to us kind of as if, you know, to look at as if we were at the event. So outside we have a fully aluminum chassis here. Again, this is the Spin 13. So we're talking about a 13 inch device, 13.5 inches specifically. And this is a, a new version of what they had last year uh, in the Spin 13, minus a couple things, adding a couple things. We're going to kind of go through that. But around the sides here, we have a micro SD card slot, headphone microphone jack, uh, USB Type A, super speed there, so it's a 3.0 port, uh, and then the uh, USB Type C port on the other side. And then flip it around, and surprise, surprise, we get a full HDMI slot, which is honestly pretty rare these days uh, in any Chromebook. So it's kind of nice to see that there. No dongles required to get out to an extended display. Another USB Type-C, and then your power and volume rocker there on the side. You'll also notice fan ports here and here. Again, this is an all aluminum chassis. Uh, Acer tells us this is mil spec rated, so it's uh, rated for drops and corrosion and all that kind of stuff. So that's that's a nice touch in a device that does not look mil spec rated. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and then you have your speaker jacks here as well. This is obviously it's a spin device. So we've got the 360 degree hinge here. So you can open this thing up and then flip it all the way over into all the modes that you're accustomed to with you know, convertible devices. And this year Acer has chosen to kind of go with this scoop here. Uh, and I like this. This is kind of a, a callback to some of the older Acer devices. And it just gives the thing a, a smoother, just better constructed feel. It just looks thinner. Technically when it's sitting on a desk, it looks a little bit thinner than it really is. And overall the construction compared to last year's version of the Spin 13 just feels a lot more cohesive. The whole thing feels like it's put together with a lot more thought. Uh, the hinges feel really good when you open it. You can actually almost get a one finger lift here which is nice. And then the way the hinge actually goes down at the bottom gives you kind of that ergonomic lift a little bit with the keyboard. So that again is just a really nice touch. Once we open the device up, again, we're met with a 13.5 inch three by two display. I honestly don't remember off the top of my head the resolution. It's a real oddball resolution. It's approaching a 1440 P, so it's a approaching the Quad HD resolution here. So think uh, Pixelbook, uh, think the Pixel Slate, that kind of resolution, but you're getting a 13.5 inch screen. And one thing that struck me with this particular display, when I looked at it, I worked from it for a couple days, and I realized why I like it so much is that vertically, it almost is the same vertical space as a 15.6 inch 16 by nine panel. Obviously you're losing some space over here on the sides, but for most things on the web, the side is kind of throwaway space. So when you're talking about web browsing and web apps and that kind of stuff, you almost feel like you're working on a 15.6 inch display and it's a 13.5 inch device. And so the entire thing doesn't feel that much bigger than like a 13 inch device. So it's uh, it's very compact for the screen real estate you're getting here. And then additionally, it's high res and it's very, very bright. We have it turned down quite a bit so that it doesn't blow out the camera, but we were measuring this thing somewhere around like 450 nits in brightness. So it's crazy bright. The screen is an absolute win here. Uh, the keyboard feels really nice. It is backlit as well. And then down below that, you get a glass trackpad and they fixed this from last year. Last year, there was a huge space down here of metal beneath the trackpad and I constantly would click or attempt to click uh, on the actual frame of the device instead of hitting the trackpad. And this year they brought that trackpad down. It's huge. It's all glass. Again, this is Gorilla Glass on the screen, Gorilla Glass on the trackpad as well. And the entire thing just feels like it's just more thoughtfully put together than it was last year. The one that Acer sent us to test is the Core i5 model, but there are quite a few models actually that are gonna be available going all the way down from a Pentium all the way up to a Core i7, all the 10th gen Core i chips uh, from Intel. 
and we're gonna get anything from four gigs all the way up to 16 gigs of RAM, and then additionally 64 gigs to 256 gigs of NVMe storage. The lower end models will come with EMMC storage. This device here has the NVMe storage. And so far, I can tell you this thing feels great. It looks great on the table. And additionally, what Acer is telling us is that it's gonna start this model. So the Core i5, eight gig of RAM, 128 gigs of storage, is gonna start at $629. So compared to the, the old Spin 13 that came out and was priced 900 to $1,000, this is a very aggressive price point from Acer. And for the machine that you're getting here, the workspace you're getting from the screen, the, the vibrancy and the brightness of the screen, the backlit keys, the glass trackpad, the all aluminum build, the 360 degree hinge, the 13.5 inch measure, which is unique in the Chromebook space. There is a ton here. Oh, and it's also USI stylus compatible as well. There is a ton here for $630. And I've enjoyed the few days that I've gotten to spend with this. Obviously, we're gonna get a uh, full blown unit here uh, in the office in the next week or so to do a full review on this is not that uh, but the initial impressions are honestly really impressive for this device i think acer's put together a winner here they're going to offer it in a consumer model and in an enterprise model that will come with the chrome enterprise license but this will be available and distributed in all the normal consumer spaces as well so you're not going to have to kind of go through hoops like you did with the old spin 13. they're going to offer it at places like best buy and all that kind of stuff along with the enterprise version as well so it's going to be nice to be able to see this thing arrive sometime in july is what acer is telling us uh, it's a great looking device again i want to hold off on saying anything more than that until we have really more time to review this thing but so far this thing looks like a killer Chromebook. But guys, that's it for this one. If you like this video, hit the like button, go down there and hit subscribe, and also hit that notification bell if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. And don't forget to try that join button as well if you'd like to see all the cool stuff our members get like behind the scenes footage and custom emojis. Till next time, we'll see you.